Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about if mouthwash can stain your teeth. And before we jump in, let me quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. So I get this question a lot to the point where I was like, do I even know the answer to this? It seems so strange that something that's supposed to be good for your teeth, some mouthwashes help reduce your chance of cavities and lower the bacterial count in your mouth, good things. So why would some actually stain your teeth? That doesn't seem like a good thing, right? It doesn't make sense. So what I found out is that yes, it is true that some mouthwashes can stain some people's teeth. And it's generally related to one of these two ingredients, acetylpyridinium chloride and chlorhexidine glutinate. Now, before you panic and check your mouthwash that you've been using for months and now you wanna throw it away if it has one of those ingredients, stop, don't panic, don't throw anything away. If it hasn't stained your teeth by now, it's not going to stain them. And it's also important to know that mouthwash stains teeth in a super small percentage of people. It's very rare that it will happen to you. Most tooth staining comes from lifestyle factors, such as things that we eat and drink. Things like tomato sauce, red wine, coffee, tea, soda, blueberries, curry, you get it. Our teeth are naturally porous. So it's normal for stain deposits to accumulate over time. The more often you eat or drink those stain causing foods and drinks, the heavier the stain buildup you're going to get. Some people also pick up random stains from things like vitamin and mineral supplements, even swimming in chlorinated pools. If you have kids who spend a lot of time at the pool or you're a competitive swimmer, there is a higher chance you'll see stains on your teeth from that than mouthwash. But since the purpose of this video is to talk about mouthwash, let's talk about the main tooth staining ingredients in mouthwashes. Like we said, one is acetylpyridinium chloride, also called CPC. And like I said, how mouthwash staining is super rare, this is because CPC does not cause everyone's teeth to stain. It only affects a small percentage of people, close to 3%. Enough to know it's a problem, but probably not enough to worry about it actually affecting you. And if we want to be technical, CPC itself might not actually be the thing that is staining your teeth. Instead, it's sometimes thought that CPC stains teeth by killing the bacteria, which then begin to decompose and then leave brown stains behind on your teeth. So if it does stain your your teeth, it's not the ingredient itself staining your teeth, it's actually the dead bacteria that they left behind. The good news, if you wanna call it that, is that if CPC mouthwash does stain your teeth, if you're in that 3% that it might happen to, the stains tend to be extrinsic, AKA surface stains, as opposed to internal, intrinsic staining. So that's the good news of that. You can easily get it polished off whenever you're having your teeth cleaned at your dental office. The other mouthwash ingredient that can stain teeth is called chlorhexidine glutinate. However, with chlorhexidine, since it's an extremely strong antimicrobial, it's prescription only. So you won't usually find this in any of the over-the-counter mouthwashes at the store. Occasionally, dentists need to prescribe chlorhexidine to use on a limited basis. In most cases, they don't want you using it for more than about two weeks. It's usually recommended after gum surgery or wisdom teeth extractions, whatever the case, they are often used to help get chronic infections under control. The bad thing about this one is that the chance of tooth stain is much higher than with CPC, which is found in most of the over-counter mouthwashes. Chlorhexidine is well known to cause tooth stain stain in most people. But again, it takes weeks for the staining to happen and you usually don't use it for longer than that. So it's all good. And if your teeth were to stain after using chlorhexidine mouthwash, it is easily polished off at your dental cleaning appointment as well. In all, it's important to remember why you are using mouthwash. Some people love it for fresher breath, helping combat tooth decay, or even helping improve your gum health. But if you don't want to use mouthwash, unless your dental provider tells you otherwise, it really isn't going to make or break your dental hygiene routine. Again, there are some cases where I'm like, hey, to my patient, you have to start using an anti-cavity mouthwash, yes. But proper brushing and proper flossing and cleaning between your teeth is way more important than using a mouthwash. A mouthwash is just a supplemental addition to your brushing and flossing routine. If you would like to learn more about the different types of mouthwashes, which ones do what for your mouth, I will link my mouthwash video in the bottom bar below if you're interested. But the take home message of this video is that tooth staining from over the counter mouthwash with the ingredient CPC is super rare. It is much more common to get staining from coffee, tea, tobacco, wine, and other stain causing foods. And if you're given a prescription mouthwash with chlorhexidine glutinate in it, don't use it for longer than the instructed length of time given. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.